in this video I will be showing you how to create skeleton model and uh, what are the advantages of it and why do we use skeleton model in the assemblies okay so let's begin before we start to explain what skeleton model is and how to create it I will just give for some background and uh, why it is used in industries okay so industries in industries there are assemblies which includes hundreds of parts and uh, many and many sub assemblies included in the main assembly okay so when you create sub assembly drawings or sub assembly models it becomes very difficult to understand where that part is going to fit in for example this is a, a complete assembly right now if you are seeing just for example i have taken a small assembly but in case of industries the assemblies are very big okay so if you see this shock 2 that is a sub assembly if i open it you will see that this is having almost four to five parts in it okay so uh, I will create a model of it, but I don't know where that part is going to fit in. Okay, so whenever someone is going to work on it, it will be very difficult for him to understand where that part is going to fit in and understand how to work on it and uh, and how to take the reference of uh, anything. So in that case, what happens is uh, Creo Parametric has given a feature which is called as uh, skeleton modeling okay in that what happens is we create a skeleton model and in that we create one uh, shrink wrap shrink wrap is nothing but a surface of uh, external surface of whole assembly which is uh, having very smaller size and uh, very easily you can assemble it and uh, it is very uh, handy to uh, work on it okay uh, compared to original parts i will show you how how do we uh, use it okay so i'll first go to uh, main assembly and uh, because i want that uh, skeleton model to be created for shock 2 assembly so what i'll do i'll hide it for now because i want only this visible uh, only this much part of uh, to be included in the skeleton model okay because i want them to be in the reference as a reference okay i'll go here into the create then i'll select skeleton model then i'll say okay then again say okay and you'll see that skeleton model is created now what i'll do i'll click on it i'll say activate then i'll go to shrink wrap here if you can follow my cursor click on shrink wrap then go to option here and if you see the subset here there are three options outer shell auto collect all solid surfaces and manual uh, collection in manual collection you can select any surface you want manually but i won't recommend you to do that uh if you are creating a skeleton model then in that case you should go with outer shell only then you go to options okay then keep that first option as is shrink wrap then exclude and here uh, if you see level level 1 to 10 here you can increase the value up to 10 only 10 is the highest config uh, highest quality of the shrink wrap one is the lowest quality if you keep the one then you will see that surfaces are not correctly joined together there are a lot of gaps in between so i would i would suggest keep it 10 okay then if you want holes to be given then in that case uh, leave it if you don't want holes to be uh, holes to be shown then uh, turn, turn it on but I want the whole so I will keep it off okay but don't forget to uh, tick mark on include quilts okay it will whatever the surfaces are there it will include that also and uh, ignore so small surfaces I won't recommend to click on it because if you click on it the small surfaces like radius as and all it will it won't take into the skeleton model so I will 
suggest keep it as is here in the copied geometry update here in the downside you will see that automatic update is there, manual update is there and known dependencies there automatic update is like uh, whenever there are changes being made in this assembly the skeleton model will be updated automatically but if you keep it manual update then in that case also you, uh, you uh, your model can be updated but you have to do it manually okay it won't automatically update it and in no dependency if you keep this uh, option on and create the skeleton model then what happens is there is no linkage between that skeleton and your uh, assembly from which you have created your uh, skeleton model or shrink wrap okay so i won't uh, suggest you to keep that i will suggest you to keep manual update and then press ok button and it will start creating skeleton model okay skeleton model is nothing but surfaces outer surfaces it it, ha it is having only outer surfaces now press activate assembly then i'll open this uh, skeleton model if you see it is it literally looks like an uh, assembly which from from which we have created this shrink wrap okay but if you take a section of it you will understand what's the actual uh, thing okay if you see this is not a solid this is surfaces only okay but before moving ahead, I would recommend you that go to uh, appearances, go to clear appearance, clear all appearance, say yes, it should uh, come like this. All appearance should be gone and it should become like blue. Okay. After this happens, you should go to uh, more appearances, then keep the transfer uh, transparency at 70, close it click on that shock assembly skeleton okay and press okay you see now the transparent assembly is created now save it and uh, this has this part you have to call in your sub assemblies okay in this sub assembly you can call that uh, skeleton model which is this one okay and it is automatically assembled in my assembly because i had kept it as a default only so if you see all my parts are part of assembly but this part or this skeleton model this is just a reference it does not include any part in it just i want to see where this part are going to fit in so this is basically the use of skeleton model in creo parametric if i hope this video is will be useful for you and if you think uh, you need more information about other features also please let me know in the comments i will create one video about it and don't forget to like share and subscribe this with channel and uh, Thanks for watching.